Puerto Rico experienced a two-week government shutdown due to a $740 million budget deficit. Seven years on and investors are still waiting for improvements to the island's financial health. I'm Louise McCauley bringing you today's press review. Since 2004, Puerto Rico's population has declined from 3.83 million to 3.67 million. The economy has contracted 16% and their borrowing has doubled to $70 billion this year. The borrowing was fed by Wall Street banks selling Puerto Rican bonds to money managers, mutual funds and individuals. Money managers have been enticed by the tax-exempt status of Puerto Rico bonds and high yields. Sergio Markswatch, the Director for Policy Development at the Center for a New Economy in the capital city of San Juan, says we've lost credibility in the market. We used all that money to finance current expenditures and to refinance debt that had little or no impact on the real economy. Unlike U.S. states such as Detroit and Alabama, Puerto Rico may not file for bankruptcy and must simply pay its debt or default. Puerto Rican debt carries the lowest investment grade bond rating and analysts say a downgrade would flood the market as it would put pressure on investors to sell their Puerto Rican holdings. Carlos Colón de Armas, an economist and former official of the Government Development Bank for Puerto Rico, believes that the island could represent a systemic issue for the municipal bond market. We are now in a situation where the bonds are trading like junk. I think the ratings agencies have been careful not to lower the GOs further to avoid creating havoc in the muni bond market. Puerto Rico plans to balance its budgets by December 31st this year by selling up to $1.2 billion worth of sales tax bonds. This year, Governor Alejandro Garcia Padilla raised the retirement age, which has so far resulted in the collection of $1.7 billion in taxes from July to September. That's 5.4% more than the previous year. Richard Larkin, director of credit analysis at H.J. Sims in Connecticut, has been following Puerto Rican debt for over 30 years and believe they aren't just talking the talk, they are walking the walk. If you own Puerto Rican debt, you are going to get your money. Well, that's it for today's press review. Click back in throughout the day for exclusive interviews and also Tuesday's usual Commodities Corner. From me, it's goodbye for now.